guest is Tim. Tim, welcome to the show. How are you? And what's your question? Um, well, my question is, uh, I basically understand what my problem is. Uh, the difficulty is how to control my emotional reactions to the difficulty that I may find myself in. Uh, okay. uh, I think it all goes back to uh, when my, uh, with me and my sister, I mean, I was about seven and she was about five and, you know, I, I put, I did, I wanted to get her into trouble and I, I was bad at me and I, I did some lipstick on the uh, vanity mirror and then my mom was so upset, you know, who, who put my lipstick all over the vanity mirror? And of course I said, oh, Julie must have done it, you know, because girls play with lipstick, don't they? And, and that got her into trouble. And, you know, I, I think I'm being punished uh, in my life since that, uh, that situation because I always get accused and suspected of doing something that I didn't do or didn't say. And, uh, you know, quite, quite honestly. And, and I think that it's just so unfair. And it makes my blood boil and I get upset. And how dare you accuse me? And I didn't do that and blah, 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 blah. But, uh, you know, I can't handle it. Uh, and until later, there's this delay, this this time delay, and I just have to go and calm down. Maybe wait until the next day, maybe the next week, <laughs> whatever, and 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 then everything's fine. But my my question is, how can I control myself emotionally in the moment? Do you feel guilty about what you did to your sister? Oh, terribly, and I've apologized many times, and. And she just keeps saying, I don't remember what happened when I'm five. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how it works. Know. Yeah, that's how it works, right? It's like we make me things mean things all the time, and then we feel a certain way. Okay, so guilt, guilt, guilt. When you feel the guilty about, when you say you feel guilty about what you did to your uh, sister, if you close your eyes for a minute, Tim, where do you feel that in the body? Uh, stomach. Yeah, solar plexus. I control, was looking right? against the yeah, counter control. when I was doing the lipstick, you know, right here. Yeah. Yeah, solar plexus. I would suggest you do the same thing that I suggested Tandy do. Is that um, do you do a meditation in the morning or visualization or anything like that? Well, I do. I, 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 I'm a practitioner of, of meditation, and, and usually that's what I need to do to calm myself down from the frustration of, you know, one of my students might say, you know, you're disrespecting me, and I'm saying, no, I'm not disrespecting you. Or they may say, oh, you said this and that. And I said, no, I didn't say this and that. And so, you know, I have to, later on, I have to leave. I can't talk anymore because I'll, you know, tell them all the things that are wrong with their mental processes and make them feel like little worms. I don't want to do that because that's disrespectful. Right, right. So, uh, right. I have to go home and it's the guilt. calm down, it's the meditate, and sort of get my body rhythm relaxed. Problem is, it might be hours later or days later. Right. So the guilt is what you want to focus on. So when you go into a situation where um, someone accuses you of something, take a minute, close your eyes and notice if you feel the guilt. If it starts to get more intense, breathe through it, send it some love like I was explaining with Tandy. You can do it right in the moment. Observe it. Watch it. Why? Because when you watch the emotion, it goes back to what I talked about in the last episode. You're actually, you know, quantum physics tells us the double slit experiment is this example. When you observe a particle, it changes its behavior. So when you get stirred up emotionally, if it goes from, say, uh, guilt being, you know, 5 out of 10, 8, 9, 10 out of 10, especially when it's really high, that's the opportunity to let go. Do some breathing, send it some love. And then notice what it does. But you don't want to become it. You want to watch it. You want to be an observer to it. You don't want to get... And see, what this is a spiritual principle. The longer you notice the time between when you get triggered, the motion happens, and the time you realize it, if there's a lot of time in between, the longer it will take for it to dissipate. But if you can get to the point where you start to notice it and notice it and notice it, and that time's getting shorter, to a point where you actually notice it within a couple hours, you're increasing your awareness, to where you notice it in the moment or like within five minutes of it happening, what you're going to do is it's going to dissipate more and more and more. But you want to become aware of it. As you watch it, it changes. Does that make sense? I, I 
I agree. Awareness is the key. And I certainly agree with also with you that we are connected at a higher dimension, shall we say, in our in our lives, in our in our relationships with others. There's an energetic field, as it as it were, which is not something that we experience physically. And I know theoretically about that problem is putting it into practice and being able to remain calm when all of a sudden I feel frustrated because nobody understands me or I'm being accused of something I know darn well I didn't do or whatever. And, you know, I know I'm guilty of something. Please tell me what it is. So the reason that you're being accused is because of the guilt. Yes. The guilt is creating the perception. Remember, I said these are two timelines. Here's the non guilty person. Here's the guilty person. OK, now the energy might be stored in latent. You're not aware of it. It could be sitting there in the body and you're fine. You don't feel guilt. For something that I at least I've got something to feel guilty for. But right now I don't have anything like that. And that's the thing. You're not doing anything morally wrong. It's just because the energy stored in the body. So you got to remember, the body is processing electrical signals, EMFs, information. It processes it based on your energetic field. If that field is distorted with some stored emotion, in this case, guilt, it's going to bring you more situations to feel guilty about. OK, absolutely. Just, you know, just to show I'm not playing around and joking here. The worst one is where there's a problem with someone who's passed. And that is an unresolved guilt situation where, well, and in my case, it was my grandmother and her silverware. Where's my silverware? You stole it. No, the gardener did it. Well, she passed away before the gardener was finally caught, you know, and he was arrested and charged. And, you know, she never knew that I was innocent and that she took it to the grave, you know. And, well, what am I supposed to do? Wait until I see her next? You know, so there's these kind of problems. It's the it's the balance, that energy, that guilt in the body, because once it's balanced, then it won't be an issue for anymore. What I can tell you is that, um, yeah, it's it's about balance. So it's like, remember the third question? We had a series of questions. What's this trying to show you? It's trying to sh- it, see the thing is, is when something needs to be resolved, it comes right face and center until you deal with it. OK, so I have a nine minute meditation or an eight minute meditation on YouTube. You can start with that. It will get you in the practice of noticing and watching because when it happens, you want to be the observer because there's two there's I mean, there's two aspects to your being. There's the observer or the soul. And then there's your physical body, which has emotions, thoughts, perceptions, matter. But these the observer. That's the really I feel a little bit of a disconnect. And I want to bring that connection. Make it stronger. Right. So that connection to source, that connection. Because I can observe myself very well. The problem is it's hours later, days later, have to calm down. And it's hard to deal with situations in the moment without getting upset, without tearing into people and explaining to them how they're wrong and and how dare they say that and blah, 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 blah. And I don't want to be, you know, angry towards people makes them upset, too. So. It's hard when you get caught up in the emotion. However, Tim, if you are in the moment and you're getting emotional, pretend you're 10,000 feet above you watching yourself going through this experience. That's what I mean by the observer. Yeah, that's a good. Does that help? That's a good. Yes, that does. That's a that's a beautiful statement. That's that's very good. Awesome. Start with that because it's just practice. Eventually, you can be a few feet away observing yourself and notice what's going on. But start at 10,000 feet. The reason you weren't able to see it or it was difficult is because you weren't seeing it. You were caught up in it. But just go really high. You can be on the moon watching yourself on this planet go through the emotion. Then you're like, oh, I'm just getting triggered right now. Let me just see what happens with the people that are coming at me. And you'll probably notice that it's not just the guilt. There's something else coming up because we got seven chakras. It could be any one of them that are imbalanced. But start with that, okay, my friend? Thank you very much. That's very insightful.
Awesome, Tim. Great question. Thanks for your question. All right, guys. So again, back to